and this is the video review for Transformers Beast Wars Fusors Bantor. The first thing I need to get off my chest when talking about Bantor is in this mode of his combination um, ba bamboo, bamboo, yes, bam baboo, baboon or mandrel and tiger is that the front legs, I've never found correct instructions on how to transform his front legs. As you can see, I've got it like this, which is look like he's kind of stalking something, which is the best I can come up with, because the rear legs are kind of useless. I mean, they're, they're, I don't even know what kind of legs these are. But that aside, uh, this figure is very nicely detailed in this mode. Yes, there's a little robot, there's a little kibble underneath, but the mane has nice orange in it. The uh, baboon mandrel face is really nice. He's got an open mouth with molded teeth. The stripes are really nice. It looks like he's furry all over, which is how an animal should look. And in uh, beast mode, he looks very, very nice. Very muscular, very powerful. Just the front legs are way out of proportion with the way an animal like this would most likely look. So let's go ahead and get him transformed. First thing we're going to do is pop off his sides like this and then combine them together to form the legs. And we'll just straighten everything out. Now on mine, some of the ball joints, even after all these years, are still very, very tight. Next, we'll take this whole section, pop it up like that, and then rotate it down to form the arms, or the form the left arm. The right arm is formed by folding that out, rotating that up, and pushing up the head. And as you can see, the head is nicely detailed, very nicely detailed. Uh, green eyes carry over. And he just looks really, really nasty. Uh, there is a gimmick in this mode, which he can punch you. Whoop. And let me get, ah, there we go. Okay, so that was the gimmick in that mode. Uh, detailing on this figure is really, really nice. Um, just really, really pleasantly surprised with the level of detail on this guy. Uh, his actual robot hands are pretty cruddy. I mean, they're really tiny and really stupid, but given what his transformation is, I understand why they're like that. Back to the detailing. Uh, his forearms have nice robotic detailing. You've got a fur on the chest and then robot underneath detailing. It just the detailing on the figure as a whole is really nice and is all around the figure. And it's really appreciated that Hasbro took the time to give that detailing. Uh, the negatives are, this arm has almost no posability. Uh, it can do that, but other than that, it's pretty much useless. This arm has posability, but has so much animal kibble that it's pretty much useless. So his arms are all but useless. Head has limited ro rotational ability. That's as far as it's going to rotate. Legs, plenty of articulation there. Uh, sadly, even though I love the look of this figure, practically wise, he's a terrible figure because his arms are completely useless. But I still really like him. Uh, another problem with the figure is this little peg comes off way too easily. So you get this weird, like, look, mom, spinning action going. But that's okay. And he's got a, he's got almost a six, he's got an eight pack. Very nice detailing. Okay, so the negatives again are weird proportions in beast mode, bad arms, and otherwise no posability up top. But I still really like him. He just looks cool in both modes. I just, I can't get over the fact that I like, I can look past all his problems because he just looks so cool. So does this belong in your collection? That's really up to you. 
I really like this figure. You might not.